Russo got together yesterday. Yeah. And the whole conversation was, was Robin ever in love with you? <laughs> and I said yes. <laughs> and Gary said yes. Oh, please. And I said, what Robin, the hell is wrong Robin's into people? this whole honesty thing, but she won't admit it. Yeah. Hey, that's my opinion. You can't change Before it. Before you got here? What? Before you guys got to New York? Well, Gary, I, I said, Gary goes, I Gary know exactly. He, he knew it, too. Gary huh? goes, I know both. I know exactly when Robin was in love with you. Really? Yeah. And I go, well, let me see if I pinpoint the same exact thing. <laughs> all right. So you write down what you think, and I'll write down what Why I think. Why don't you all do it now? <laughs> so anyway. Fred, you don't believe that ever happened, do you? I, yeah, I do. Oh. I do believe it. All right. Write down when you think it happened. No, I'll tell you when it happened. You start started falling in love with me in Washington uh -huh. toward the end of our stint in Washington and you loved me almost uh, all through NBC. Oh, when did I fall out of love with you? What happened? No, I think that you finally <laughs> realized that I'm a married man Howard, and I can't oh, marry you. What am I had stupid? A baby. You were, you were Admit married you were in I love with you. me. You were, never, you were in love. That's, never, that's a lie. Never, never, never. The baby ruined everything. Howard's baby. Well, Gary thought the baby. I said she no, paid no, no attention to the baby. No, baby what baby? Emily. <laughs> I said I thought it was before you met Allison, the way you describe it in the book, that, you, you, you know, Howard was great. He was amazing. I had to meet this other person. But I think after you met Allison, I think you stopped being I met being Allison two no, minutes after we met. No, you cannot tell from Robin's book when she, she blocked it all out. <laughs> you cannot tell from her book when she fell in <laughs> love right. with me. When I know because I know when a woman's in love with me. Oh, you're so crazy. Well, you're in fact, you know what? I'll give you a story. So I'll give you a story. When you were, um, you know, having your little nervous breakdown with me and, and uh, you know, you were yelling and screaming all the time. Yes. So. <laughs> I treated you differently than anybody else. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you were, you were whacked out of your head. <laughs> and it was like the worst time to work with you mm -hmm. to the point where I almost like couldn't take it anymore. Yeah. So, because I can't work with, I can work with sick people, but not that sick. <laughs> well, not when they're beating you. Right. <laughs> not when they're yelling and screaming and hitting me. No reason for it. So anyway. I was talking, who was I? Oh, yeah. I was I was talking to my wife and my mother about, you know, gee, Robin's really bad. She's in bad shape. I mean, she's just whacked out. Mm -hmm. she, she complains about stuff. I don't even know what she's talking about, but I humor <laughs> her and I go, you know, and I say, <laughs> okay, if I you go, think yeah, that's happening, I go, Robin, happening. let's talk about it and get it out in the air. And then you'd be okay as long as you felt like we had talked about that's something. Right. But you were whacked out of your brain because I never, for a These minute. Subjects you had no clue on. I had no idea what you were talking about. Robin, I have to be quite honest with you. I have no idea what you're talking yeah, but about. But I figured the way to calm you down was to say, hey, let's have a, let's have a talk. That's right. Right. So I was telling my mother about it, and she goes, there's nothing wrong with her. She's in love with you. Oh, please. I said, well, it's you my and mother. mother. And how many times has your mother been right about anything? Don't get so defensive. Just no, listen. Just answer me. My mother's right about a Very lot of stuff. Very few times do you come in here and say, you know what? My mother was right. When it comes to you, she's right. <laughs> so she goes, so she says, I go, what do you mean, Ma? She goes, she's in love. I said, you're kidding. When she's, was this, Howard? This was years ago. <sighs> I'm shocked. We were at the table. She never said this to me. Well, she's not going to tell you she knows you're in love with me. <laughs> and you didn't come back and tell me. So I said... I can't believe you didn't talk about that on the air. <laughs> Please, you were in no condition <laughs> to be in love with me. You would have you gone psycho. You would have jumped out a window. So what makes you say that? She goes, look, she's having a relationship with you, and she, you know, she's having certain issues that she has to work out. <laughs> And she is. She said, "This is like how, how my, my you and your, you, me and your father <laughs> react to one another." Oh, please! I saw. She said you were in love. She she predicted that you were in love with me at that uh -huh, point. Right, and you went along with it. You can't get. Why not? It was very complimentary. <laughs> I liked it. I think this is all transference. I think you have been in love with me. Oh, I, I don't deny it. Though. <laughs> I never deny it. I'm in love with just about any woman that walks. <laughs> but Howard, you know, Howard being in love with you is different because if he has you once, he'll never want you. Again. Right. I'd rather <laughs> not have you. Holding out. But at least I'm professional. I don't want you. See, the theory is that you want me. I love uh, you oh. beyond reason. You've never want to have sex with me. More than anybody you. in the world, no. but I've never been in love with you. All right. Never Take a deep breath for a second. Excuse me. Could you guys be quiet for a second? Would you guys leave the room for a second? <laughs> <laughs> leave the room. I want to talk to Robin let privately. Let me say to you right now. <laughs> no, let the guys if, leave. If your you wife dropped dead today, I, not would, today. I would assist you in finding another woman because it certainly, I would not lobby for that position. All right. All the guys are gone now. You don't have to keep up your front. <laughs> you, know, you don't have to act and there's tough. there's nobody listening. There's, nobody, there's no one listening. <laughs> now, look at me. Is anyone in the room? Nobody's no, okay. in the room. Look at me. Yes, I'm looking Can right at you. Can you honestly say? Now, don't you don't divert your eyes. I'm looking you right in the eye. I'm and I the same as you. <laughs> Can you honestly say? Yes. 
that like when we met in Washington and mm-hmm. stuff, and you know we started working together, mm-hmm. and we were fighting the good fight in Washington against everyone, and everyone right. was coming down on us. Yes. There did not come a point uh-huh. where you look at you, you're getting dreamy. <laughs> did not come a point where you would look at me and say, "Hmm, maybe I should have sex with Howard." I would like to have sex with Howard. You were going to no, you were going to go on record and say happened. that. You, all right. Well, because uh, quite you're being frankly, dishonest. Howard. Yeah. I'm being dishonest. Yes, you're being dishonest. You're being dishonest. I know it. You cannot even confess on the air that you wanted to sleep with me. Admit I've it. I've never wanted to sleep and with you. And never at NBC. Never at NBC. Oh, that is such a lie. Never at CBS. Never at ABC. And would you be willing to take a lie detector test? <laughs> yes. You would? Absolutely. All right. All right. It will be done. The other day on the air, I told Robin I thought that she was in love with me. She said she wasn't. She was willing to be hooked up to a lie detector test. We have Ed, the polygraph guy over there. There. What's going on right now? Well, what happened was he asked her, he's supposed to show her the questions in advance, but he only asked her the first four, mm-hmm. and I told him to stop, and th- he's hooking her up now, Yeah. and he's going to ask her all the questions. Okay, here we go. Shh. Is your first name Robin? Yes. Now what he does is he writes it down on the paper so he knows what question it corresponds to. Yes. I could figure that out, Baba Toothy. <laughs> Silly boy. I'm trying to help. Thick lip Toothy. <laughs> is today Thursday? Yes. Is the belt wrapped around her breast? It, Ever yes. so tightly? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yesterday's Thursday. Yes, it's, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> no giggling now, you notice? This is a love question. You intend to answer all questions truthfully. Yes. <laughs> I like Ed's voice. I know. <laughs> Ed kind of like, sounds like he has to go to the bathroom or Unique. something. I know. I know. <laughs> Do you work for K Rock in New York City? Yes. Fred, cut that out with the sound effects. I'm trying to hear what's going on for okay. real. It's very serious. Now that was really her. Oh, that was real? <laughs> Ro- that was Robin? Yeah. I swear. Oh. Would you like to have sex with Howard Stern? No. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like a lie to me. Yeah. I think yeah. I heard the needle jump. No, no, uh. no. That was a lie. I bet you that's a lie. Wait till we get the results. Yeah. Have you ever thought about having sex with Howard Stern? No. Hmm? That's a lie. He's trying to laugh. The, the meter just fell off. The, the guy has to now go buy a new machine. <laughs> There's smoke coming out of it. I guarantee you she's thought about it. Have you ever been in love with Howard Stern? No. Mm-hmm. That sounds, I could hear her voice shake when she Come said on. it. She doesn't sound like herself. No. Did you notice? Because she's in love. She's, it's, it's, this is gonna, every one of her answers is going to be false. She's going, no. <clears throat> this is serious, Robin. Quivers is quivering. <laughs> Jackie, do you sound like lies? Did your father molest you? Yes. <laughs> Why? I wrote that. <laughs> Jackie goes, you can't ask that. I go, I'm asking everything. She's under. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Gary? No. <laughs> ah, I believe that. That's, that's, a true a, that's not a problem. I don't believe <laughs> yeah. it. I believe she's telling the truth. Do you wish Howard's wife was dead so you could <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. <laughs> He's laughing. Ed's laughing. Ed, oh, you like better go career. in there. <laughs> He's throwing it off. Is everything single in your book true? Yes. <clears throat> no, it's Is every single thing in your book true? Yeah. Go in there and help him. Yeah. All right. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Jessica Hahn? No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Tom Chisano? <laughs> yes. Huga. <laughs> 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 Even I've had those. Hey now. I'd like to bend them over a desk and hit them over the head with a hammer and knock them unconscious and... Oh. Play, play naughty score. Hey, I'm not supposed to be answering these questions. <laughs> you play naughty score. Have squirrel. you ever had sexual thoughts about Jackie Martling? <laughs> yes. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus. She finally admitted it. She didn't admit that the other day. Well, right, Jackie? She, but she had she had that dream along. Right. Yeah, right, right. So that would mm. have She's you so- ever had sexual thoughts about how it's done? No. Lie. Wait, you'll see. He's gonna say Ed Ed the polygraph guy is gonna say that's a lie. You wait and see. He'll have the results like in five minutes. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about stuttering John? No. It's a lie. Oh, how could you know? How could you know? <laughs> Even I've had those. <laughs> I took a lie detector. Have you ever had oh. sexual thoughts about Malika Kinnison? No. We're going to get to this lesbian stuff once right. and for all. Oh we figured we threw in Malika because you know how they used to always hug and stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you now or ever been a lesbian? No. (laughs) 
You know, we worded these like lawyers. Have you now or ever been? Howard Shapiro. Yeah, <laughs> Howard uh, Shapiro. Do you hate your mother? No. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I thought she'd say yes. Did your father really get to third base? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Who wrote that? You, Your Honor. I did not. <laughs> When you look at your father, do you get turned on? No. <laughs> what kind of lie detector is this? Have you ever touched your cat sexually? No. <laughs> I like hearing Ed the polygraph guy read these questions. <laughs> I think the <laughs> polygraph is... <laughs> well, I can't <laughs> I gotta stop and answer. Uh, All right, okay. Well. <laughs> Don't just skip that question. Come on, Ed. You really have what does it mean? <laughs> the polygraph <laughs> expert laughs. I know. I'm, I'm not taking it seriously. <laughs> Did you really have sex? I've never heard of oh, a polygraph. Oh, come on, Ed. Just right. ask it. Oh, this, ask. 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 <laughs> That's the end of the test. Oh, Ask it, Ed. No. <laughs> Listen to this guy. Get him back in here and let's get the answers. Right. Gary, please arrange that. Let's, 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 oh. let, let's, uh, Ed, let's unhook Robin. And Robin, he wants you to go back in and Ed, bring the results of the test and we'll go in. Right. Very okay. good. Very okay. good. Well, I'm sure this could be analyzed. <laughs> Ed wasn't taking it seriously. Ed, Ed couldn't uh, ask the fart question. He oh. held it together till then. Yeah. I don't think you've ever All right, very good. Robin is in another room, obviously, and I will uh, wait for her to return. <laughs> Matter of fact, why don't I take a break, and then we'll get the results of the lie detector and know if she really was in love with any of us. What's going on with the polygraph? This poor polygraph man is destroyed. Yeah, we had a whole bunch more questions for you, but he was having trouble getting through them. <laughs> I know. I don't know what that'll do to my test. He's had the polygraph guy. <laughs> so, uh... We had a whole bunch of questions. Like, what couldn't he get through? Let's see. The one he had trouble was, have you ever cupped your hand over your butt, farted, and smelled your hand? Hey, Ed, the polygraph guy. All right, Ed. How you doing, man? Okay, let me Ed and I have never met before. You met Ed, obviously, when you uh, Yes, he had to test. give me the test. You know what I like about Ed? Ed even said to us, hey, I'm not looking for a plug. I'm not looking for anything. I... Uh, he just wants to what? He just he was, he was just willing to do it. Is he a fan of the show? Oh, I don't definitely. even... I, are you a fan of the show, oh, Ed? Definitely. Is that right? I didn't know you were a fan. So what, did you believe that I was in love with Howard and you just wanted to find out? Yeah, Ed was curious. He's considered one. You are, right. one, you are one of the top polygraph guys in the country. Is that correct? Right, definitely. I mean, yeah, Who's just a, rating, though? Uh, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ed, don't they... Don't oh, there's, you, uh, there's don't you work with all the top police officials and different uh, various definitely. crime organizations? He was back there yes, telling sir. me that he has uncovered everything. Haven't you uncovered everything, in fact? <laughs> definitely. Yeah, right. Like, what are some of the things you've uncovered, Ed? Well, <laughs> excuse me. I uncovered uh, Catherine Hepburn's underwear. We found her underwear through the polygraph testing. You found Catherine Hepburn's underwear? It was stolen at a museum. Oh, it was famous underwear. Right, famous underwear from one of the movies. Is that right? Right. She was famous for wearing underwear in a movie? What movie was that? I don't, I don't know the name of the movie, but <clears throat> what, it was uh, in a casing. Yeah. And somebody had broke the case and stole her underwear. No kidding. This was valuable underpants. Oh, and sure, after all, a movie. No kidding. And right. so the museum or something wanted it back. Right. And they had a suspect, and we polygraphed a few people. Yes. And we came up with one suspect that was deceptive, so-called deceptive on a polygraph, and he admitted to uh, stealing her underwear. Uh -huh. God bless you. Hey, God bless you, Ed. <laughs> you've made the country safe. But, I mean, you've obviously taken part in many more uh, right. more serious uh, criminal investigations. Right. Such as this one. Yes. Yeah, because we want to know. Now, uh, I assume, Ed, that by the fact that you're in here, you have now come you to have some a conclusions. Result? Right. Okay. okay. Now, how do you like to, how do you like to present the uh, evidence uh, about Robin and all of this? Will you go through it question by question and tell us where she was deceptive? Yeah, I'll do, if you want me to do it that way. Yes, I would. I was yeah, deceptive, Ed. Well, we don't know How yet. Dare you. I haven't talked to Ed. She <laughs> might no, have talked to me. Okay. No, I don't know any of the results. Let's hope that it's good. Okay. Now, you say all Robin right. was truthful regarding her father. Right. Did you? Did your father molest you? She was truthful about that. She was truthful. Right. Oh, like there was any doubt. No. Right. Fred didn't believe it. She doesn't want. She still doesn't want to have sex with her father. Right. Of course not. I, I, you see, I put those in there to see, you know, what was going on. Because some people said, oh, could Robin be making up her book? This proves that Quiver's uh, a, a story, uh, Quiver's a Life. Quiver's a Life is not Quiver's a Lie. Right, okay. right. All right, go ahead. 
Now going into the not next entirely. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, right. Oh, now, <clears throat> now going into the next subject, which is you oh. hate your mother. Right. She uh, she doesn't hate her mother, according to what I see. Right. Okay. She doesn't hate her mother. Just and, wanted to know. And did your father really get to third base? And she was truthful on that. She was truthful. Right. Was truthful. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Oh, you. I had a little problem with the fact that you're calling it third base. I don't believe there's bases in molestation. We knew you'd have a problem with it. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Even Ed had a problem with it. All right, go ahead, Ed. Okay. All right. So, uh, at least your happy childhood is intact. All right, go ahead. When you look at your father, do you get turned on? Right. She said no. She was truthful about She it. was truthful Yeah, about she's that. not turned on by her father. I still don't believe it. Oh, so yeah. obviously, <laughs> you know what's good about this, Ed? Everything that you've reported so far, I believe that it was true, and it shows right. that the polygraph knows. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Some so things. I don't know what he's going to say yet. Let's right, see. <laughs> Getting nervous, honey? Get down the road. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. We're going to find out if you love your man. Right. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Ed. The last, the last one is, have you ever touched your cat's cat? Sexually. Right. Has she no, ever touched no, her cat sexually? Touch she never touched her cat sexually. No, she was truthful on that one. You would, yeah. you would testify in court to that fact? Oh, definitely, definitely. All right. Because we got a big case going up. All right, so you never touched your cat sexually. Hey, I thought maybe you had. All right, okay. All right you okay. never know. It's poor cats. Now, I couldn't ask I couldn't ask you question number 29. Right, the farting question. <laughs> that one you didn't know. And All you right. got no result on that, huh? Right, right. Yeah, you, won't, you don't trust the result. On that. What result did you get, just out of curiosity? Well, she really, uh, she really got... You know, upset by that question. And <laughs> I was upset by you, Ed. You were like a mess. <laughs> yeah, she got upset by it, and and yeah, although it probably is inaccurate, what was the an was the answer truthful? No, she she's never cupped her. Uh, butt. She, ne she never cupped her butt and farted into it and smelled her hand. No. <laughs> And what's wrong with a guy who dreams up a question like that? <laughs> <laughs> you better get I me. Think, I think we should scrap him down and ask him a few questions. I can see my career down. You're not kidding. You're pretty much out of it now. Nobody's going to call my yellow page yet. You're not kidding. <laughs> Are you in the yellow pages? Yeah. <laughs> not anymore. They just removed your name. <laughs> When you have to put the two straps around Robin, now right. Robin is large chested, as definitely, you know. Definitely, definitely, right? You couldn't help but notice. <laughs> definitely, right. I hope there was no molestation during the strapping in. But when you strap, I can say Ed was professional. Did you strap? Because I haven't seen the tape yet. Do you strap the the uh, ch the breasts? Right. No, above the breast. Oh, he, right above he, it. He right above the caged breast. my breast. And what about the second one? Does that go the under the breast? One, that goes under the breast, more in the stomach area. Oh, is that right? Because <clears throat> some people breath breathe through the chest, and some people breathe through the stomach. Right. And uh, I to put it over her breast and under the breast. So when you put it over the breast, did you accidentally feel anything? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no one would have faulted you. That would not be wrong. You didn't touch anything? Uh, did he touch it? No, he was a <laughs> lucky guy. Oh, Ed, man, no wonder no, he went into the polygraph business. <laughs> <laughs> lucky man. All right. Yeah. But they're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, the, uh, oh, oh yes. Beautiful. Very nice lady. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Lady. Yes. Okay. I don't know if she's nice, but those are beautiful. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Howard. Well, come on. It's a polygraph. Guy. I want to hook you up. You know, when we had you <laughs> under a polygraph, you didn't let us ask all these questions. Yeah, you, you didn't think of it. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay. Now let's get to the good stuff. Now we couldn't get into the one about... <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever made them two in your pants? Like, I know, you didn't get to that. We he couldn't that. go any further in the test. I know, but go. let's <laughs> but get he, to the good he stuff. But he the first part. All right, okay. let's get to it now. Would you like to have sex with Howard Stern? She said no. She was truthful about it. All right, go truthful. ahead. Have you ever had sexual thoughts about Malika Kennison? Yes. And there was a reaction to that question. That she was being deceptive. Yeah. Oh, please. I knew it. Please. That's We put that in there because oh, you were always no, hugging please. her. <laughs> yeah, <Always> right. <laughs> now, wait a second. So, like poor right Sam. Now. Let me see that. Let me see number 16. Uh, like, I know what I'm looking at. Let me see that. Oh, my God. Is that obvious I think deception? his machine broke at that oh point. Oh, my God. Oh, I, oh, my God. Robin. Oh, come on. Look Did at this. Did you put your tongue in Jessica Hahn's mouth? No. Look. Look at this. What was the question before? Robin. Robin. Excuse me. Look, you've got to see this reaction. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, my God. Oh. Alert the media. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hold a press conference. <laughs> now, you're saying the only deception was on the Malika Kinnison one. Right. Oh, please. She didn't want to have sex with me. She well, didn't want to have sex with Fred Robin. or Jackie. Show it to Robin. Show, no, no, no. Wait a second. I, I trust I heard you. the machine do something at one point, and I don't know why it did it. Well, you got a second uh, book. I think his, think his, I think his well, machine well, is broken. What question. about the question, does you, have you ever been a lesbian? Well, she passed that one. She, she passed, passed all of them. Right. She See? Passed. Yeah, she passed that Did one. she have sexual thoughts about uh, Fred Norris? He didn't Fred ask Norris me about Fred. Oh, yeah, we had it written down, but we never got to that. No. And you were saying to me that she's never been in love with me or had se sexual thoughts about me. Have you ever been in love with Howard Stern, number 20? That's the one I want to hear. 
Deception she on She likes you, but she doesn't love you. She likes me, but doesn't love me. Right. Hmm. Well, Robin oh, says it's all baloney anyway, because she doesn't believe the Malika Kinnison thing. But uh, the point is, I have always answered you truthfully. No, not about Malika Kinnison. You never asked me about Malika. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm telling you. Let me see. Ed, I don't know you if you don't know your business. You don't want to trust the yeah, polygraph. Yeah, exactly. look at 16. <laughs> 16 looks like a lie to me. That looks like a lie. She was thinking about someone. She was thinking about me. Malika Kinnison, that's yep. for sure. And where's the, look at the one about me. That's a lie, too. She obviously was in love with me. <laughs> Are you getting the same reading as Malika? I don't know if you know how to read this, Ed. You better go put your glasses back on. Ed, he, don't let him look. All right, so you're saying that Robin was honest when it came to the fact that uh, she is not in love with me. Right, she's not in love with she's me. She's not in love with me. She's never been in love with me. Right. And she's never had sexual thoughts about me. No, she never had sexual thoughts about you. But how can we believe her? She says that the, the Malika Kinnison one is wrong. The machine messed up once. Ed, you sure it was you weren't holding it upside down? <laughs> Have you ever been in love with Howard Stern? No. No. I think you were truthful for the whole thing. I think, in fact, you were not in love with me. I now stand by Ed's uh, polygraph. Thank you. I think that uh, you were um, honest about your book. I think you were honest about your father. And I think you were honest about Malika. I even had to admit to have, because I had that one dream, I'm not responsible for my subconscious mind, and I had one dream where I was having sex with Jackie, so yep. I had to say I had sexual That's thoughts right. about Jackie. That's right, and it was honest. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, she was honest. Well, I personally think you were in love with me. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> no matter what the machine says. I don't care says. what the machine says. Okay. Right. Well, Ed, you okay. certainly have gotten to the bottom of a lot of things. Okay. Uh, Fafafui book Malika on the show. Mm. <laughs> I like something's going to happen. <laughs> oh, who knows? <laughs> And, uh, Ed, uh, listen, between you and me, I'll give you some advice. Go catch a criminal. What are you doing? Once <laughs> yeah, your time? What are you doing? You're doing asking fart questions. questions. Ed, you don't want to plug? I'll give you a plug. You're very good. You sure? Uh, okay. Got you got plenty of business, really? Well, thank you, Ed. It was a pleasure. Nice to meet you, Ed. Nice to meet you. Thank you. That polygraphing is nerve wracking. Nerve wracking. Ed's sweating like a bastard. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> it was no more nerve wracking for Ed. Like I told you, we're not on the air. I belong to an organization. Well, no, no, we are on the air. Yeah. I'd like to know what Ed has to say off the air. Thank you, Ed. We're still on the air. Oh, is we? I just wanted to save you from saying something. Okay, thanks a lot. All right, Ed, over here to the right. Okay, Gary. Uh, All right, so I'll come in in a few minutes because I know you need a few okay. minutes to pack up. Okay, buddy. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. You know, what was the answer to the one about me? 13. She never, she never had sexual thoughts about you. You sure? Yeah, she never had that. I'm uh, going to retest her again. Are you disappointed? Ah, uh, I saw it, yeah. It's about you. <laughs> how, how, um, how reliable are, like, lie detector tests? About 98%. 98%? It's the closest thing we have to tell if somebody's telling the truth. This test would hold up in the court of law? Definitely.